Hello, my name is Treasure Chikwudi and I welcome you to Natural Treasures Kitchen. And today I'll be teaching you how to make delicious bitter leaf soup. And for this soup, I'll be using um, beet beef. Some people might want to use goat meat or some people might want to use snail, a snail to eat or chicken, depending on the protein that you want to use. But for me, today I'll be using beef and I have my scotch bonnet pepper. I have my momo, I have my dry fish, I have my stock fish, I have my seasoning cubes, I have my locust bean, in Igbo they call it ugidea poko, and I have my grounded crayfish, I have my blended cocoa yam, I have my salt to taste, I have my bitter leaf, and I have palm oil. So I'll be putting my beef in the pot, right now it's already washed, with my stock fish and dry fish. Dry fish and stock fish, they'll, I'll boil them together. And also my momo, I'll boil everything together. Good. And I'm going to add two seasoning cubes to it right now. And a pinch of salt to taste. Just a little. Then I'll add just a little water. I'm going to add more water, but to just to steam the meat a little bit. Then I'll add my water. I'm going to allow this to cook for 30 minutes. I love tender meat. I don't like when people are eating my meat. They are looking for plenty of toothpicks to remove it from their teeth. So this is going to cook for 30 minutes. See you. Okay, we're going to check if our meat is done. It's 30 minutes and it's ready. The stock fish, the dry fish, the beef. I'm going to separate the meat from the stock. This is one of my secrets, separating the meat from the stock so that my um, cocoyam paste will get smooth without scattering the meat and the stock fish. Wow, the aroma is already all over the place. It's going to be very delicious. Good. Right now, I'm going to add my oil, like three um, cooking spoon of oil to it to the stock good then I'm gonna add my cocoyam paste I blended it some people use mortar to do it but I blended mine with my food processor so I'm gonna add it can you see it's very smooth Unlike the ones you pounded with mortar, it's, gonna, it's not going to take so much time to dissolve in your stock. Okay. At this point, I'm going to add half of my locust bean. I'm not supposed to add everything now. Towards the end, I'm going to add the remaining one is another secret I have so that you can actually taste it very well in the soup. 
So I'm going to add half of it. Then I allow the cocoa yam to dissolve very well inside the water. So I'm going to cover it for about maybe two to five minutes for it to dissolve properly. Okay, as you can see, the cocoa yam paste has really dissolved inside the stock. See, then I'm going to add back my meat. And allow them to boil like for a minute you see the consistency I like it so much it's not too thick it's not watery because as it, as it gets cold it's going to thicken up I will test for salt and Good, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and one seasoning cube. And a seasoning cube. Just one. Then my bonnet paper. I like seeing, you know, the red color of the bonnet paper. So I'm going to cut it inside the soup. This pepper is very hot. In case if you are using pepper that is not very hot, you can add two, depending on the size of your soup. This food is for three servings. So that one will be enough for us. If you are someone that likes so much pepper, you can add as much as you want. Can you see it? Oh, the aroma is something else. Hmm. Did you notice I did not cook this meat with onions? When you are making your bitter leaf, you don't add onions to your food because it's a local meal. It's going to change the taste of the soup. Now I'm, add, I'm adding my crayfish. This is the first time I'm adding crayfish. I didn't add crayfish from the beginning. When you add crayfish at this point, the taste is going to come out so well, so sweet. And it's not going to make your food. You're not going to add so much. Yes. And it's going to come out so lovely. I'm going to add one cooking spoon of crayfish. That's all. Remember I told you I added half of my local spin at this point. The food is ready. I'm going to add another one. The rest. If you want to get a delicious bitter leaf, make sure you buy the right locust bean. Make sure you source for it and your cocoa yam is very good. Ooh, this is delicious. Oh my God, the taste is amazing, so sweet. The last but not the least is the bitter leaves. As you can see, it's already washed clean. Sometimes you buy bitter leaves and when you taste it, it's so bitter. What you will do is that you just boil it a little bit to remove the bitter taste. If you add it like that to your soup, it's gonna come out so bitter. You wash it and boil it for 20 minutes in it, depending on the size. If it's not so much, you can boil it for 10 minutes and that's fine. So we're gonna add the bitter leaves. And our soup is ready. Wow. You add and check for if you actually need more in it. Oh my God, this soup is going to be so delicious. Okay, 
I think I need a little more of the leaves. That's enough. Wow. Wow. This is bitter leaf soup. I'm going to test for the last time my seasoning, my salt, my pepper. I can't wait to eat this. So for me, I'm going to eat this with my own ripe plantain. I don't know about you. You can eat it with pounded yam. You can eat it with... Okay, let me put my fire off. You can eat it with pounded yam. You can eat it with Gary. Whatever swallow you want with it. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, who is eating with me? Wow. This is our delicious Onubo soup. It's still very hot. Can I eat the meat? Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time for another wonderful and delicious meal. Thank you.